grateful to the Almighty God for this humble opportunity given to me when the pastor was launching his book I was the chairman and I said something I said uh, if Angel Gabriel or Zechariah were to appear to my mother some years back to tell my mother that a day like this, the son will be preaching the word of God. Now, I think my mother would have laughed, 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 and I would have said that to me. Because nothing around me shows that a day like this, I will be before the Lord. To to the Lord. My simple problem was that I hate going to the farm. And that time it's farm around the way. So I'm the sixth of eight siblings, and I was written off. But when God locates you, when God locates you, the story is different. I'm very, I'm very grateful to the senior pastor, my daddy, and the all associates for this opportunity given to me to share the word of God with this people. Shall we worship the Lord? Captain of Israel's Emma.
mighty God, we give you thanks this morning. We worship you, we glorify your name, God. Indeed, you are God. Father, we give you thanks for this opportunity to send forth the word unto your people. Father, my prayer is that this word that will come will bring encouragement unto somebody, will bring fulfillment unto somebody, will cause somebody to receive his salvation, O oh Lord. Father, we bind all territorial powers who will come and steal this word from the heart of your people, wherever they are. Father, we bind them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, may you saturate in the whole area with your presence. And then may the word come forth with power and anointing unto your people. We worship you this day. We glorify your name this day. That indeed you are God. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. This morning, and obeying so, the Lord has prepared a message. And the message is. How to receive the anointing of the Lord. And his kingship. Or in other words, how can I do to receive the anointing of the Lord? And his kingship. We are aware of a man in the Bible called King David. That received the anointing of the Lord and his kingship. This morning we will find out what actually David did to and merit the anointing of the Lord and his kingship. And I believe. Now, what did he say? If we are able to identify them, say it to me, who says, and we vow to ourselves, now, I'm sure the anointing of the Lord and his kingship will be our portion. Shall we open our Bible to First Samuel chapter 16, verse 6 to 13? And I read. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab. Now, mono ohunu Eliab, and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. Now I say, ampa diye eradi asra no no na owone nimi. But the Lord said to Samuel. Do not consider his appearance or his height. For, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things that man look at. Man looks at the outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab. And he said, Frere Abinadab. And had him pass in front of Samuel. Now Manucha mu o is Samuel enim. But Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. Then Jesse then had Shama pass by. Now you say, Ma Sama. But Samuel said no. Now you say, Samuel said, Debbie. No, has the Lord chosen this one? Now, you were in a radi apau. Jesse had uh, had seven of his sons pass by before yes. Samuel. Yes, of Ma and Sonny Nina, the chair, Mu, I was Samuel and him. Samuel said to them, The Lord has not chosen this. Samuel Catherine yes. said, A radi empower, Mubia. So he asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Now, Samuel Catherine just said, they are still the youngest, he just answered. Now I say, Aka Okumano. But he is tendering the ship. Now share or share in rain. Someone said, Send for him. Now someone comes around and says, Suma. We will not sit down until he arrives. Suma, my friend, I'm going to say, 
so he sent and had him brought in he was ruddy with a fine appearance and a handsome feature then the lord said rise and anoint him he is the one so Samuel took the horn of oil anointed him in the presence of his brothers and from that day and from that day on the spirits of the Lord came upon David in power Call David so the Lord to add his meaning unto his words. And The story we've just heard. After the Lord rejected Saul as a king of Israel. The Lord, the Lord decided to choose a king for the Israelites. His as it has been prophesied by prophet Micah and prophet Micah 5.2 we are aware that this king is supposed to come from the Ephrates line and is supposed to come from the house of Jesse so we have no question we have no problem to question the prophecy why the king is coming from Jesse's house. Because the Lord Israel. has already ordained that. But we have a question today to ask. What, what qualified David among the siblings, all the seven siblings, to be chosen? because there has not been any prophecy to that the prophecy is that the king will come from the house of Jesse but if all the seven candidates all the seven sons of Jesse is a legible candidate if there has been a prophecy someone would have known and would have gone straight away and I called for David the last one and anointed him so any of the seven sons of Jesse has qualified to be the king so what brought the difference? What brought the difference? Why David was chosen? All the seven children are the children of Jesse and their mother Elizabeth gave birth to all of them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The, the, the Bible only gave us a clue to that answer. It could give us one, answer. One, 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 but I know this day the Holy Spirit will give us the meaning no, why no, David was chosen among his siblings. Only Mr. Hong Kong, my because the Bible only made us aware that God said it does not look at the appearance, it looks at the heart. And I found this very to, I found this to be very insufficient. Because it's the same JC and the heart, the wife who gave birth to all seven. How different. Uh, David had from the others, from the Shama, from the Ozem, from the uh, the names of the this is Rada. What is the difference? What brought about the difference? I say, Obaba, Ko Ejaba, Ko Ne Wumo Free. Ne De Ne Do Sun Sun Yebe Tu Samai. The Bible tells us that he knows the heart of David. Now the Bible says, Oh, does it mean that the David heart is different from the other siblings? His heart is different. Was he wearing just a bigger? Now, how? 
and I said, then they buy. My brothers and sisters. The difference is that. Where was the David at the time someone called to the house? Where was David? Was he a David somewhere by Jesse Where was David and what was David's doing? That was the difference. And then And I believe here that if David were to be in the house and Abidab were to be with the sheep, the stone would have been the difference. Now David fear. The Bible tells us that the father, just in the other books, said that. Says that David loved to be with the sheep. Bible say and David And sometimes the Bible tells us that he sleeps with them. Bible say to the one See, he loved to be with the sheep. And this tells us that it was David being with the sheep at that time was not under compulsion. He wasn't sent. He wasn't authorized. He wasn't commanded. Just because of his love for the sheep, he decided to be there at that time. Was it David in China or here? Nya and nya in Shebi. And I said nya and nya maybe I papa dia tuni tim sadi udi abet na ona mum na odo ano owo emma emwa ni tsana. He wasn't compelled to be there. Was it na he didn't go home? Just because of what he had compassion. David had compassion for the sheep. So if I'm not there, who will take care of this sheep? How would they eat? How would they be protected? That was what David had, the compassion. And you know that the compassion comes from the heart. It's not something that you can see. When David said, so we can say with authority that the difference between David and all the siblings is that David had compassion for the sheep. And they don't have. That is why they are always in the house, neatly dressed. And the Samuel saw them and said, This might be the king. Now, Samuel, who was at? Well built. Ah, just said who are fair. Always with the mother, the be on the father, the be on the in the house, the be on the the be on the nature, and the laborers of Jesse will be taking care of the sheep. Then the be on the na akwan kwan e esh. They are the upper class people. Omo di omo be omo di e e just so they don't go near the sheep in the bush. But David. Now see, so David is also the son of Jesus. But he decided to be with the sheep in the bush. That is why God saw his heart. And no, and no, that he has a compassion for his people. So he has a compassion for the sheep. That is the difference. Where any insincere ne dau muntem. So in the church here, in your workplace. In the village you come from, in your vicinity, in your district, how to make you different from the others? How God will locate you and anoint you from the other people? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, the theologian studies. And our Christian studies is teaching us that who are sheep today, when we call sheep, David was with the sheep, who are sheep again by the theological studies and what we have been learning. Who are the sheep today? Because we are going to understand what David did. That, that God called Saul in him. That he anointed him and gave and what anointed him and gave him the kingship of and Israel. No, and a man, Today, when we talk about the ship, yeah, can say Psalm 23 actually answered our question. Psalm 23. The Psalm 23 said, The Lord is my shepherd. So today, when you say the sheep, who are the sheep? 
It's God's people. Any eradi. It's God's people. Any eradi. It's God's people. Any eradi and who? God said. David said, "The Lord is my shepherd." David said, "Rather than so the shepherd." So the sheep are how the God's people. You, yourself, you, you, you. Today. Some of the sheep are lost. So I saved you. We are all sheep. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's find out. David do with the sheep. What did he do? Because we heard that he has compassion for the sheep. Yeah, we said no way. I'm so share a man. So one, David feed the sheep. And you today, they cannot David the man more do any deal. He provides food for the sheep. Yeah, more yeah do any. I'm so mad do any man. That is what God saw and anointed him and gave him the kingship of Israel. And if you want me who ya or sira ne ngomani di or anyway. So today, if you want to receive the anointing of the Lord, and you want to receive the anointing of the Lord, and you want you must provide food for the people. You must provide food for God's people. Those who are saved and those who are lost. Because, yes, anybody who is saved today, tomorrow, he can be lost to the world. Uh, so, so today, when we say we are providing f- food for our people, what does it mean? And then I can say, my young prophet, the near the idea, I say, yes, right. I, baby said, feed my soul with your words. Was it for what some shame? So when we are talking about providing the food for the people, we are talking about the word of God. Let's provide the spiritual food for the people who are lost in the world. Those who are even saved. And if we don't provide this food for them, we can lose them unto the world. So it's not a Issue of the lost friendship alone yes, is the, is the, is the issue of even the saved one. Because today, standing here preaching the word of God, tomorrow, with that, with that, the word of God, permanently in my life. Ah, the story could be different. The story could be different. So also our general superintendents. We got the word of God every day. The story could be different in his life too. The story could be different in the least believed person in this church. Yes, and be so all of us. Especially those that are lost. In Kanka, one now, why you Hallelujah. Amen. As we provide this spiritual food by the word of God to the people, let's provide the physical food for them too. The last time that we had our evangelism, I went, I was in the company of my brother Francis. We went to a house closed here. The family they were living in this wooden structure. When, when we got there, I told my brother that look, these people have a problem. I said it in my spirit. Until we pin them to know the problem and solve it, any word of God that we are giving to this body, it will never go anywhere. So we brought them together to to find out what is their problem. They refuse to reveal. We pray with them. We self of the word. The word never materialized. Sunday we came here. Brother Fazi took his car to them to bring them to church. Never came. We tried four or five times. So when we are going to share the word of God to the people, and you see that they are hungry. Leave the word of God. Go and buy, take away, and come and feed them. And after, if you preach the word, they will know it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You could see that this person is hungry. He has no food to eat. And you say you are sharing the word of God with him. Please, it won't go anywhere. 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 Leave the word of God. Go and provide food. Go and take away food. 
Amen. 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 So that is what David did. When he near David, yeah, he provided food for the people. Now David, the man of God, so also, so if we also provide the food for the people, so yes, we are man of God, which is the spiritual food of the word of God, and also the physical food and for the people. people. And I'm sure the anointing that came upon David will surely be our portion. Will surely be our portion. Nothing will change it because the word of God is true. Hallelujah. Amen. Then number two, what did David do to the ship? Now we can also be in the ship today. David protected them. Was it David the boy? He had his ring, and he has his staff. Was he or what? Ne seka na or what? Ne pianso. Because of the compassion for the church. Esa, I am so sure I know what Emma wanted. Even when the lion came and the bear came, was he? Jata ni si se ni po ba. He physically fought them. Was he a miswa ni miswa no? Put his life at risk. Ah, ne just to save the church. Now suppose the word change mo in twenty. What have you ever done to a point of God, a point in life to say that? Look. Even if at the point of death, I will ensure that no one perishes. At the end, I want to see what kind of work must I have to do here. So, because simple, we are not part. May I say no, baby? Have you sacrificed to the dead the last minute where all your breath is about to finish just to save someone? What see what the Lord? For we are going to say, a dream is also which you will be in one. Have you done that? Why yes, sir? Have you done that? Why? So David provided protection. David na onu so mo ma bamba. The sling was there when the pian e kitani mu. And the staff. Nene se kani ni pian e kitani. Where what is our weapon? And the mre a di e ni ya. Where is what is our weapon of protection? A di me ni a di boy e hold back. The Bible tells us that our weapon of protection is prayer. Was he ya prayer? Empire is what our weapon of protection. Empire bo a ni ya kodi a ni ya bamba. If you want the anointing of the Lord, and it's key shape, in your life, pray for God's people. Pray day in, day out. Then they are a bump. Untiring prayer. The be a bump. I want the saved. Then you are saved. Ona waji and kwanu wana wanya waji. This that I know somebody has been doing faithfully. My wife. She every morning will mention all the pastors, their wife, their names, the members of this church, Boko Haram, wherever. I wonder where do you do all these things? I didn't tell you, I don't do that. I don't do that. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I have not been doing that. I have not been doing that. But she does it. Now, so I need to wait a bit. Mentions everybody's name. Mama this, no mama this. Do this, do this, do this. 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 So today I've changed. I also pray for everybody. Because the Lord is speaking to me today. That that is the only way that I can receive the anointing of the Lord. That is the only way I can receive His kingship. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. If you want the anointing of the Lord upon you, pray. Bumpai. Don't pray for your family, your whole business, and everything. No. No, bumpai, ma, we no obisi angwa. Everybody. Bumpai, mo biya. That is the only way. Why you cry? Anointing of the Lord will come up. Yeah, onyang kupo kusaba yeso. This is what David did. Nyawe kwa snoye. This is what David did. Oh, David, nyawe 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 it's not by chance. That David was chosen. That David, your power. 
You also be chosen. You can also be chosen. With these words that you have heard, you have the compassion for the word of God. If you have the compassion for the people of God, the anointing of the Lord, the anointing of the Lord, and his kingship will surely be your portion. Will surely be your portion. You are not shouting because you don't know what the anointing can do. You don't know what the anointing can do. If you know what the anointing can do, if you know what the anointing of the Lord can do in your life. For this reason, I've, I've so far reached 16. And then see what sin importance of anointing, sixteen importance of anointing. I only give you only three. Now so now the rest will leave we don't have time for you to know what anointing of the Lord. But when I'm talking about showing you the way that you can receive the anointing of the Lord unto yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Number one, the anointing of the Lord. The anointing of the Lord. Number one. The Bible says what? Thousand will fall by my left hand side. Bible saying, ten thousand will fall by my right hand side. And now you come near me. Now you come near me. Because of what? Because of the anointing. So you see what the anointing can do. The anointing can cause you to triumph over your enemies. The anointing of the Lord can cause you to triumph over your enemies. So anytime in your life that the enemies are triumphing over you, you know that the anointing of the Lord is gradually because when the anointing of the Lord come upon you you triumph over all your enemies when the anointing came upon David David younger sister he triumphed over Goliath the anointing of the Lord can also cause you to be patient with that anointing of the Lord, you can never have patience. It's almost impossible. You have patience for the Lord. With that anointing of the Lord, David was anointed. David is running. Because of the anointing, since he waited for 16 years, I was saying, if you do to ascend to the throne, not even the throne of Israel, he served Judah for seven years, and all areas were trials and temptations. But because of the anointing, David overcame. David Edinkunim. David David Edinkunim. He waited. Can you wait? The oh, Lord me chain. What you chain? The Lord anointed you and said you are a king. Oh, you yeah, Mr. David, because you are your As soon as that you heard that Saul is dead, you are gone. Was in Saul I'm the king today. Yes, I'm in Guam for my phone. I'm in Tarasso. He didn't have to be the king seven years in Judah. Saul's son was what ruling. But if you to be Judah, feel so. And I saw him. I went for But the, the elders of Israel, they sought for him to anoint. Now, so Israel and Penim for the Sheno. I didn't see a Janus, a Sadonia, me Asran. So, if there's something God has promised you, certain things in your life, and you say, I read your soul, Bobby, or Brabham. And you begin to worry about it. Now we shall see The indication is that the anointing is not with you. If, if the Lord promise you that you marry, so the Lord promise you fruit of the womb. Never fret, never worry about it. The moment that you begin to worry about it, then it is the anointing is departing. Now, pray for the anointing to wait. Now, to the Lord. Pray for the anointing to wait. 
and you surely do it in it. Now, Eradi Baye. You surely. Now, Eradi Obeye. You surely do it. Obeye. Surely, surely. Onyame Obeye. My brothers and sisters. Me me abba me me abema. The anointing of the Lord. Engosrano. It also causes us not to revenge our enemies. Number three, the anointing of the Lord causes us not to revenge our enemies. If you don't have the anointing of the Lord, if we don't have anointing of the Lord, so we need who always retaliate our enemies. How filled we are. But look at David. She David. All that Saul did to him. Has it any point in time that saw David retaliated? Even in the cave of Adoram, that he has the opportunity to finish Saul. Yes, he never did. David and Saka saw now swanye neboni. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see how the anointing of the Lord could do in our life. And go slani timiye wada thirteen at the at the right time. I will share it with you. On this note, it's my prayer that as we take of the work of the God and having compassion of his own people, supporting the work of God Yesterday, I was so sad for a picture that a friend sent to me on the Facebook. This Nigeria businessman decided when the mother died decided to go and buy the most expensive hammer. VX hammer. So many million dollars. So he filled it with the full tank and put the air condition on. Then he put the mother inside. And dug a big hole. And that's how he buried the mother. Jesus Christ. Impunity. The wealth of God. I know I care. the on the wealth of God. That's the money belongs to you. You're only a custodian. The money belongs to God, and that is the only way you decide to use it. She secured your I went into prayer for that man. Because if you don't pray for him, the man will surely see poverty before he dies. I can tell you, I'm standing by the point. What that man did. We surely see poverty before he die. We need to pray for him. We need to pray for him. Surely, no matter how wealthy he is, you mark and hear the story. No matter how wealthy he is, if all the wealth in this world belongs to that man, the man will surely see poverty before he die. Is that the way you have to use the wealth? People are hungry. Nigeria cannot go far. You have the resources to do that. And that is the way that you want to put it. Yeah, we don't question for us. Asi asi. We go have mercy on you. I ready when you mobo. We go have mercy on you. I ready when you mobo. On this note, I thank you all for the rap attention for this word. Let me hear you. It's my prayer that. The Holy Ghost himself will make this words to be part of us. As we decide the anointing of the Lord in his kingship, let's go out there and do the work of God. And God himself will cause his anointing and the kingship upon our lives. Because, do you know something? There is a, a, a song that God is the same yesterday and today. Because the Nigerian uh, how is that song? Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you remain the same. Ancient of days, as 
As old as you are, as old as you are, you remain the same. We say as old as you are, as old as you are. the senior pastor to pray for us I just want to share use five minutes to share something can we open our Bible to Acts 28 Acts 28 Acts 28 if you are there just read it for us so what I came Act 28. Once safely on the shore, we found out the island was called Malta. The insiders, the, 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 the Icelanders eh, showed us unusual kindness. Now, they built fire and welcome us because it was raining and was cold Paul gathered a pile of brushwood and as he was about as he put it on the fire a viper driven out by the heat was itself on his hand when the, when the Icelanders saw the snake hanging from his hand they said to each other this man must be a murderer for though he escaped from the sea justice has not allowed him to live but Paul shook the snake off into the fire and suffered no event. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's just read the last one. Verse 10. They honored us in many ways. That's Peter. Now Paul. That's Paul. Uh, many ways. When we were ready to sell. Now you free her. They furnish us with supplies we needed. What the name I hear, you know, pray. Brothers, last two weeks I was not around. Now, to me, a chairman, I was in Europe. Now, our Europe, my mom, and I visited this island called Malta. Now, okay, was last I see a friend of Malta, and so I saw where Paul shipwrecked. Now, oh, who baby, and now Paul, and now. And the cave in which Paul shook the snake. Oh. I took a video of it. And this morning I even showed a video to senior pastor. It's there in the water. It's an island between Europe and Africa. So when I go to the island, 
The island is very dry, nothing. So the tour guide that took me round is a Maltese. And he took uh, some of some people came from the British. We we sailed through to see the the cave. And so I asked him. So be What are is in this island that the Maltese are living on? He told me. Okay, let me see. That there's nothing on this island. But when Paul shipwrecked. AD 60. What we have just read. That the people of Martin show kindness to Paul. And he stayed on that island for three months. And when he was going, they provided all his supplies. Paul blessed the island. I was bringing some of the rock from the cave to show you that nothing can grow on the island. Do you know how God Paul blessed the island? The island anytime is just surrounded by water. Outside the island, I visited somewhere. Was it I saw a water in a valley, white, moving. And I threw a stone into it. The, 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 the water caked. But the island is always warm. So anytime Europeans, anytime snow is falling in Germany, that the island is their destination. So they will go and work in Germany. When the snow falls over there, they will bring all the money to the island and stay there because that is the only place. So when the, 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 when I was in Germany, there is a place where they are When I was in Germany, it was negative five. So all the Germans are moving to Maltese. No, so then busy. immediately you hear that France, the snow is falling. The whole move to Malta. And so I want to hear the name. I'm to make a That is the. And you surprised that? Look, you could be in Belchester on that island. So when they come, they bring their money. And then you see when you go to Malta, every every community have churches they all go they see the church bell ringing they are only worshiping god and people will be bringing the money and, and they, they will be bringing the money i'm not like you can go there and watch and see so in the mother if you put a, a a table and you are selling a house you can feed your family and they don't do anyway. There's nothing absolutely to be done. The land cannot produce anything. But I tell you, before they joined the EU, their currency was the biggest, the, the, the highest currency there. Was, so today, when you are changing the pounds, one city to five. If you want to be changing it to with mortar currency, it will be one to ten. How can they have that? What do they have? That is the power of God. That is the power of God. That is the blessing of God. This thing happened AD 60. Was it where a sea and the generations of those who people, those who show favor to Paul, his generation are benefited. And something also happened that I saw. I want to share with you too. Maybe you should see who you are. So when Paul got to that island, he started a church. Was it Paul? Of course, sir. He's been meeting the people in the evening. When Paul started a church, I went to that church. Today stand a very mighty church auditorium on that place at that place. Yes, sir. That contains almost our two thousand worshippers. Yeah, nipe ba ono dos pa. I showed it to Pastor. In 1942, at 4 4:40 4 p.m., the Germans 
because the island is under the territory of the British. During the Second World War, they threw bomb, bomb into that auditorium. The bomb pierced the wood. The bomb pierced like it broke into this structure and landed at the altar and never exploded. Hallelujah. Well, see, so we shall say, as I read this bit, and the and the bomb is still at the altar well, in see, that church. Se, if you go there today, 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 I went there and saw it. I video it. I showed it to my family. I showed it to pastor. Well, see, German fought a bomb. Some of us are sorry. No, I'm not too. And the bomb will not go without the enemy. I've been told for more. And to me, I have spread one phobia. And bomb will not hold the whole thing. If you be brave. The Germans requested for the bomb for ten billion dollars. They said they would never give it out. Yeah, it should be there for people to come and see for their faith to grow in the oh, Lord. They want to find out why the bomb never exploded. That is the power of God. On this note. Hallelujah. May God prosper you. May God bless you. May He put a burden upon your life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.